So the question, and it's a question that at the beginning of the journey is very, very helpful for a very small amount of time, but we are all very seasoned veterans as evolving Navy SEALs on the spiritual journey. And when you make it to this kind of a level, this question is not helpful. Here we go. The question is, how am I doing? <laughs> this is an unhelpful question. And I'll explain why, because otherwise you'll be like, <laughs> you come home, so what did you learn from that today? <laughs> I think he taught me to not check in with myself. <laughs> but I'll explain why and give you a better question. How am I doing? Why is how am I doing not helpful? Here's why. How am I doing is either assuming self-doubt as if you're not measuring up to the perfection of the moment that's already been created. As if it's up to you to do well, and if you do well, you will then receive well. That's reward and punishment. How am I doing? First of all, what does that matter how you're doing? I see it starting to resonate. <laughs> and here's an interesting thing about how am I doing. How am I doing is actually a question seeking outside approval. How am I doing? As if your perception of yourself is not enough and you need someone else's reflection. Now there are times in life when it's healthy to gain a reflection. But how many times do we ask ourselves, how am I doing? And I can tell you this because in my, in my earlier spiritual years, I would ask the universe all the time, how am I doing? How am I doing? How did I do? And here's what's weird. Most of us are asking the universe, how am I doing? And I'm going to say that asking the universe how you're doing is a form of outside approval. And a lot of us would be confused. We'd go, no, but Matt, the universe is inside of me. I'm not seeking outside approval. But how many of us envision the universe above us? And so because we imagine it above us, we then perceive it as an object outside of us. And we're still relating to it like it's an outside source, like you would a parent or a friend or whatever. So even if you go, the universe is within me. If you are the universe... then how small of a you must you have to become to fragment yourself off to be a little piece to ask your bigger piece the question? So by asking the question, you're asking yourself, I'm going to be a small me so that I can ask a bigger me to tell me I'm doing a good job. That's actually a very subtle form of spiritual ego. And it's not coming from the wrong place. Spiritual ego doesn't mean narcissism. That's one form of it. Spiritual ego is a spiritual form of self-doubt. How am I doing? Because we cannot trust two things. We cannot trust our own perceptions because of the feedback we got when we were younger. And we certainly can't trust that the universe is always going to give and give and give no matter how good or bad we think we're doing. The reason why how we're doing is a foolhardy question that no longer will serve you is because how you are doing is simply the momentary climate of your spiritual healing process. So how you are doing is not a measurement of how good or bad you're healing. How good or bad you think you're healing is just the process you're in. So through the eyes of the universe, how you are doing, fantastic. But that's not enough because it's the self-doubt inside of us that's asking for a measurement and a reflection 
of our effort. And we're asking for a measurement and a reflection of our effort because the constant need of a reflection is reinforcing a separate self. One who is one with the universe does not ask how they are doing, doesn't even question how they're doing. It would be like the finger asking the hand, am I doing a good job? And the hand politely says yes. The wave says to the ocean, am I measuring up to your expectations? And the ocean says, yes. And then the wave says, is there anything else I can do to serve your will? And the wave says, stop it. <laughs> stop it. How am I doing? No longer a question we ask. Simply because... Here's a little aside. If you heard a voice respond back to you, you said, how am I doing? And the voice says, atrociously. <laughs> Once you heard that, what the hell are you going to do about it? <laughs> and even when you get the feedback, you're doing great. That just on the inside gives us something to silently disagree with. You ask the universe, how am I doing? Oh, my beloved child, you're doing magnificently. You are the light of the divine in physical form. And on the inside, you're like, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> I suck. <laughs> I suck so bad. And I'm so afraid that someone's going to tell me I suck. So I keep asking because I'm afraid they're going to tell me. And I keep asking, waiting for it. And the truth is, only I think I suck. Ah. 